Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying four different items. These were sent to us from Scarlet in Wisconsin. These are all from Wisconsin. They're all from Wit Wood Orchard Market. Um, I have the chocolate Amish peanut butter and then the, just the uh, Amish peanut butter, There's just chocolate. regular peanut butter. Yeah. That's oh, that, I didn't hear you say chocolate. Sorry. And this one is fig preserves and this is orange marmalade. Orange marmalade. Oh, so let's try the orange marmalade first. And these, um, these are made for Wood Orchard in Egg Harbor, Wisconsin. It is www.woodorchard.com. There's orange peel in here. I don't know what you want. Like that? Yes, please. That top beast. See the strings of Mm-hmm. Uh, but it looks like skin. typical orange marmalade. Except for the skin. I'm not used to having Oh, you're not? It's like the whole. I thought they always had that in orange marmalade. It's been a long time since I had orange marmalade. Mmm. Definitely orange. That's good. Cane sugar, orange peel, orange juice, concentrate, citric acid, and pectin. One tablespoon is 50 calories. I can see why. Wow, that is delicious. Mm, that's a good one. Mmm. It's, it's super sweet. It's super sweet. And then you get a little bit of that peel, though. And mm -hmm. you get a little bit of that bitterness of the peel. Not bad, but just a little bit. Adds a little different layer of flavor. I really like that. I like that is awesome. stronger. Than you were and, yeah, it's well it's stronger than the orange marmalades that yeah. I've remembered ever having. And that's delicious. And it, if you like oranges at all, you would like that. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, this is a fig preserve. And it is 50 calories for a tablespoon. TBSP, a tablespoon. Yeah. I thought so, then I doubted myself. So it uh, it's not low calorie stuff. This is about the texture of uh, an apple butter or similar to it. Well, it looks good. It looks like it has some stuff in it. You know, like skins. Yeah. But we, no, we, we've eaten fig newtons, but we don't regularly use fig in anything, do mm -hmm. we? I think Kevin's given me a tablespoon on each little corner of the toast. My hair off, you? No, it's okay. I'm just saying that's. That's yeah. a lot. That's, do you see how thick you, here, yeah. Here, switch me. Take yeah, that. That's pretty thick. I like to taste it. You'll taste it. Yeah, I like it. Mmm. <laughs> This is a really good flavor. This one has figs, cane sugar, pectin, citric acid, and lemon juice concentrate. Same thing as that one, except this one has figs and the figs and, and the, instead of the orange peels and stuff. Um, that's really good. I like them. I like them better than the orange. Now, see, I like the orange better. I like the figs, and you can really taste the figs. Mm -hmm. But after having the sweetness of the orange, mm -hmm. then... I think that fig's pretty sweet. Fig is sweet. I, that orange, I just really, yeah, really like. It that. was a stronger flavor, definitely. But but I, I really like that fig. Okay. It tastes like literally eating a fig. These two jars had like uh, clear uh, protective covers on them, and I I just popped them off for the review. Now, do they have to be stirred? Doesn't look like them. Mm -mm. Looks like regular. Actually, it looks like peanut butter fudge in it a does. jar. It does. The same color. Ah, oh, this is Amish peanut butter. Let me tell you what's in it. Peanut butter, marshmallow cream, corn syrup, and maple flavoring. It's got peanut butter or peanuts? No, peanut butter. No, it says, the ingredients, peanuts. Peanut oh, no, it says butter. peanut butter. So they don't say what kind of peanut butter. So they don't list the ingredients for the peanut butter. <laughs> right. But I mean. That would probably be better on a Ritz cracker. Uh, this would probably be delicious on a Ritz cracker. Do you mean take it off and you no, go no, get no. some Ritz? No, you're fine. Let me try it on bread. Bread's good. Bread's, uh, from now on, it might get eaten on a Ritz cracker. Bread's a good neutral 
holder of other things. Yeah. Yeah, that that would it's be good. It's the carrier of the. It's just the delivery system for the actual. Product. I was thinking with it having marshmallow cream and stuff, you could frost cupcakes with it. Oh my! That's what reminds you of. It's peanut butter frosting. That is awesome. That would be delicious on a red cracker. Mm -hmm. I think we've had something like that already. That would be good on anything. You know, that reminds me of. Even though it doesn't have it in there. Peanut butter fudge. There's um. I used to take peanut butter and honey and mix it up. Yeah. That reminds me of that just because of the sweetness, I guess. More than anything. That is so good. That is excellent. Yeah, I absolutely love that. I'm assuming you can order this online. You all should go to their website. I don't know how much this costs though. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I do. It was a little expensive. It's two ninety nine. So... You can probably make it yourself at home. With shipping, yeah, because literally... Peanut butter, marshmallow cream, corn syrup, maple flavoring. You can do that. And you can taste that maple too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so good. And this is the chocolate. This is the chocolate. It has peanut butter, marshmallow cream, corn syrup, and chocolate base and water. So basically, instead of the maple, they've added chocolate. Does that one have calories? Because I forgot to say if it does. No. No. Okay, this one has calories. This says a tablespoon is 80 calories. No. <laughs> this dark, dark stuff. That is like black. Like the darkest brown. Deep dark. Almost has the color of molasses. Yes. Actually, it's darker molasses. Yes, it looks good. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, chocolate frosting. It does. That's, that's what it looks like. Like a Pillsbury chocolate frosting. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's good, but I like the one better. I do too. That chocolate has a bitter. There's something to it. There's some chemical in that chocolate that I'm not. I'm not digging. Mm. I mean, it's more of a cocoa than. Well, I don't know. It's there's just some kind of something in it that I. It's it's good, but I'd rather get this. Yeah, I like the, the regular, just the regular peanut butter. That, yeah, this isn't bad, but... Now I'll have to look up a recipe. Ha! To make your own at home. Well, you have a lot there. I think mm -hmm. that'll go for quite a few crackers. Oh, yeah. And I would think if this You could is, eat that on a sandwich if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. I would think if this is 80 calories a tablespoon, then that's probably 80 calories a tablespoon, too. Because it really didn't add much difference. No, it just adds uh, just a different flavoring to it. Um, this whole video mm -hmm, they were all was good. a whim. Yeah, because I was worried about these a little bit because I didn't read what the ingredients were, just the right. name. It's like, ooh, peanut butter. I don't know. For me, the the big winner is the, just the Amish peanut yeah. butter and the orange marmalade. I absolutely love both of these. And I would get the peanut butter and the fig. And the fig. So, I will, that's okay. We'll use this too, but I might share this one with Adrian and Christina and see if they like it too. That way, because we like all of these, and if I'm going to keep these, I don't mind giving this yeah. to them. So, thank you very much, Scarlett. I hope you all check out this website because this really is good stuff. And thanks for watching.